And finally, to capture even more of the room, I'm gonna be using a Neumann TLM 103. Now, some people say that this mic is a little bit too bright. It is, uh, it is bright, but sometimes you want that sort of brightness. Um, you could use um, a Rode NT2000, uh, CAD179, but Neumann, uh, incredible, you know, German microphone maker. This mic is terrific. Sounds great on vocals, sounds great anywhere. It certainly sounds really great if you want to capture the room. So TLM103, condenser microphone, that's what we're going to be using. Okay, and now for the room mic. We're using a TLM103, which is a super rich microphone. It's going to do a good job of catch, capturing the brightness and the tone and quality of the drum performance. Now, this room microphone is really far away from the kit, but that's what you want because the delay, the time it takes from the sound of the snare to hit the close mics and then eventually get to this one, the sound is different and you want to make sure that you capture that as an engineer. So we have a nice condenser microphone. It's getting all the sound waves that are bouncing around in the room and really giving sort of a more complete picture of the drum performance. If you want, you can take this mic and bring it even sort of closer to the ceiling, depending on how high the ceiling is, and that's gonna get sort of more of the room in there, or you can just leave it here. Remember, it's like a flashlight, so we wanna make sure that we're directing it at the kit. 